Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to use Python to build a little box like this. So we are going to have to work on spacing, functions, and calling something over and over and over again. So <clears throat> let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so let's think about this. We could go through and do something like this because this is just, remember, if it's not a number, it's a string, right? So we could go and literally do this by hand, right? And we close this out and we run this and then we get our little box and then our thing right here but that's not quite exactly right and it also would be a pain because what happens if we wanted to change the height and things like that so let's scrap this and let's go so all right how about we look at this we have a plus and we have a dash so let's just start there let's keep this real real simple so we have our plus oops and we have our dash. All right, that's not really quite like that because what? If we look, if we have a space, so let's change this to a space. Then let's do, how many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. So, so do we want to do five? Or do we want to just sit here and go multiply by five? So anything that we can automate, replicate, do over and over again, we're going to want to do that. Next, let's 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 go about and how we want to think about this. So we have one, two, three of the same things. And then we also have some another character here and some spaces. So how about, we, how about we build a function that, and we call it, and we'll just call it, uh, we call it like the bottom of the box. And how would we describe this? So we do an X, a Y, an X, and a Y. So, so would, would we go x y x y x or if we look more closely we have one of these two of these and then our x so let's do that x plus y times two let's see if we did this right see how this looks all right what I forget <laughs> didn't print anything to the screen all right let's save it and run it again there we go okay so that's part of it now I need to add one more one more X to it Save it, run it. Cool. Okay, so now we have our one, two, three. So we're actually closer than we think. Now let's do something called. So what we have, we know that these are five spaces. Five of these. So we really have. 10 spaces in between our weird character and this character lives it is the shift and the backslash right above the enter key on your keyboard all right so let's call this middle and that's just going to be and we're going to we're gonna kind of cheat 
we're not, we're not going to worry about this because there's actually space here after. Let's call this a dash, a dash. Then space. But we need how many spaces? Ten, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We could we could clean that up a little bit, but we won't we won't worry about that. Times we need three of these, right? Okay. Let's see how we did. Call middle. So we named it, right? Yeah, middle. Okay. Now, what happened? All right. Now, here's one of the things that I like about this, and this is important. So, Python, when you get an error, it gonna it's gonna tell you where it fails. It's usually always the line right above it. So, let's look right here. What I do? Where where is where's this? Where's my highlighted part? I left out a parentheses. So now I have now I have from the start to the finish of my print. So now let's run this. Okay. I'm off just a touch. I'm off by one. So let's go boom. That should solve that. Run it, save it. Okay. So I have this. So now I'm really, 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 really close. Now let's just count up how many do I need? One, two, three, four. So I need four of these. Now how could we do this? We could sit here and I could copy print four times, but we already know how to do something over and over and over a certain number of times. What do we, how, how do we do that in Python? Remember, certain number of times, range. Want something to happen four times. Okay, did everybody see what I did there? All right, so you could do this a few different ways. I'll redo this real slow. So I went there. Let's do this another way that I prefer to make sure that you get rid of all the spaces and all the indentations. I do backspace until I get back to my colon and then I hit enter and then I get it. Now let's see how close we are. So now we have our top and this measures correctly. So now let's think about what we have. We have one, two, we have two of these. So why don't we call this, why don't we come up with a new function that would maybe do this for us so we don't have to go through and go bottom middle bottom middle so we just call this box and you can call other functions bottom middle You can call functions inside functions. Let's get rid of this. Let's see, now we call a box. So, see what I did? Call box again. And what do we need? See why I called this bottom right here? Even though it was gonna be the top, it was going to be the base or the edges or however. So now I call and then really why don't we get real fancy and call this make a new one so we just call it one time and we call it grid and what would grid be to make the whole thing? Box, box, bottom. Now we get rid of this. We 
this call grid one time. Boom, makes it. So this is how we go step by step and we can make one little setup because way back in the day, you would have to do each one of these over and over and over again. And then somebody said, hey, we need to figure out a way so I don't have to rewrite every little bit of code to do this. And that's where functions came to be and loops and things like this. So now, now you've learned how to make a little image to the screen. You can get really creative. You can do dollar signs. This is really a variation on our number triangles. So, and you can call functions inside functions over and over and over again. So, hope you're getting something out of this. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to click the subscribe and leave your comments below. Thanks. See you next time.